Yeah, my name is uh, Ty Moore. I'm an organizer with uh, Socialist Alternative, and along with Andre, uh, co-chairing uh, this this first panel today. And I just also wanted to give a little bit of the political context for uh, this conference taking place in this time. I mean, we are uh, discussing today strategy to defeat and fight back against Trump here in Seattle, as well as a strategy to build the socialist movement. But this is taking place against the backdrop of really earth-shaking uh, events. Um, Trump's ascendancy to the White House is not only creating a crisis for working class people, for oppressed people here in this country and around the world, but it's actually also creating a crisis, or deepening, rather, the crisis facing the entire global capitalist system. In some ways, it's both a symptom of that crisis, of a tremendous outrage um, from below that is expressing itself both in growth of left-wing ideas, but also, ominously, the growth of right-wing populist ideas. Um, and at the same time, as it's an expression of that crisis, it's also um, deepening that crisis. Trump is not the traditional sort of uh, uh, business as usual capitalist uh, politician. He represents a much more rapacious, uh, 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 short-sighted wing of the billionaire class, as well as a right-wing, hard ideological trend that is looking to assert itself in this era of growing popular discontent at the system. And around the globe, we're seeing similar trends. We've seen confidence in the capitalist system as a whole, as well as the key institutions on political parties uh, representing the capitalist system collapsing. And as we say in Socialist Alternative, um, uh, in many ways, the best recruiter to the socialist movement is the capitalist system itself, is the results that it brings about um, in this world. Which is exciting, but also kind of disappointing. The results are obviously not good, and that's why people are more and more looking uh, for how can we organize a movement that can change society, and what a different model of society could look like. What, is, what does it mean to be a socialist? What are, what are socialist ideas? What does a socialist society look like? Um, so I just want to, so I think that's the backdrop of today's discussions. Um, as as Andre said, uh, Socialist Alternative, the International Socialist Organization, Democratic Socialists of America, as well as the student groups, YDS and Social Students, came together to organize this discussion because we, I think, all feel it is both a time of huge opportunity but also a time of tremendous responsibility to rebuild a powerful socialist movement, a powerful socialist backbone to the wider anti-Trump movement. So the two sessions today, just to kind of introduce the agenda, first we're going to have uh, a very distinguished panel of speakers um, talk about building, uh, making Seattle a center of resistance in the Trump era. Um, and I think all across the country, activists, organizers, really around the world, are more and more looking to Seattle since the victories of the Fight for 15, since this whole series of other struggles where we've been at the forefront of the fight back against billionaires and, um, and now the Trump administration. Yes. And all our speakers today um, have been a part of building that legacy, as I know many of you um, in this room have as well. Um, our set, so this is going to be more of a, we're calling it a panel, but it's more of a rally. We won't have time uh, for uh, discussion in this first session. It'll be hearing from the speakers, um, getting their perspective. We'll have a quick lunch break, and um, we're going to try and keep that to just 25 minutes. There'll be pizza and um, water outside, and you can whip through the line and come back because um, we want to get this done on time uh, in order to, some of us are going to go to a launch rally for a very important mayoral candidate uh, this afternoon. Um, <laughs> so we really want to keep the program tight. After lunch, we'll come back and we'll hear uh, a second panel um, on building the socialist movement in the Trump era, where Bhaskar Sankara, who's editor of Jacobin, prominent DSA activist, has flown out from New York to join us, as well as Philip Locker, um, the political spokesperson for Socialist Alternative. And that'll be a more discussion-oriented uh, panel, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get into the procedures for that. So with no further ado, I want to uh, introduce our first speaker. 
Kaylin Nicholson um, has been an organizer, a very effective organizer, a close friend uh, with socialist students. Um, she has led a whole number of, of different struggles, played a role in the uh, Sawant's re-election campaign, as well as organizing some of the big walkouts we saw against Trump in the day after uh, his uh, inauguration as well, I mean the day after his election as well as on the inauguration. So I think uh, we want to really center the voices of young people um, in this movement who've been at the forefront. So please give a warm, warm welcome uh, to Kayla Nicholson.